Gib. I think Gib's got a hard fight. Gib had a hard fight. Like, the guy is fighting and actually knows how to fight. My box. Taylor is annihilating a Nissan Gib. I'm supposed to be neutral. This is the one fight I'm not going to be neutral on. Do you really want to put your boy in there against Taylor Holder? Taylor Holder's good, all right? I don't think Gibbs going to win that fight. It doesn't matter. Even if you get in the gym, you're going to get dropped. It doesn't even matter. He is no fucking joke. Taylor's going to surprise everybody that night, and he's going to go down as the best fighter of the night. Nah, nah, he's knocking out Gibbs for sure. Gibbs not very good. Gibb is not going to stand a chance against Taylor Holder, and after that match, Give his career is done. This dude is nasty. He's vicious. He's mean. And when he goes up against Taylor Holder, Gibb is gonna lose, all right? You wanna get mad at me? You wanna get upset with me and say, no, you're wrong, Gibb would just, no, Gibb is going to lose. Oh. Get on his ass, Gibb! He's go, go, go. He oh. said black! Oh. Oh. But it almost looks like his training has caused him to be Get in there, Gibb! That's an upset! They thought he was gonna win, but he lost! Give up! But little did I know, at this moment right here, when victory was at my fingertips! Things were about to take a turn for the worse. Let's go. The combined scores put the bout in favor of a majority draw. What? The biggest robbery in boxing history. Now the question is, how did my opponent pull this off? Did he have connections with social gloves? And how did they have connections with the ISCA commission? We know there's boxing connections run deep as he was coached by Canelo Alvarez. Like yeah. One nil Gibber. Social glove staff members bet money against him. for Gibber right now and he clearly is not over but it looks like I'm going to be dishing out 10 grand. So who is behind social gloves? So social gloves, the name CEO is Austin. Right, because Taylor's my boy. Um, he has experience. He's probably the most experienced on the call. So he's your boy. I've taught, seen you like be yeah. with him, right? Taylor? No. So it was all lost in the room. They robbed, they robbed me. They robbed me in a way soil. Probably because his friends were the main event. I got robbed. I felt like I won every round. I know I won every round. Alright, that's that's oh, corruption. Oh, oh, oh. That's oh, corruption. What? No. Hey, yo. What? What the fuck is this? Absolute fucking robbery. And who did oh, that? Big Gibber, I know what happened in your last fight. You got cheated. I thought you won. You thought you won. But now you can redeem yourself. I know you're fighting against Austin. Good luck. Go out there and do what you got to do. It's going to be a good fight. I'm going to be watching. But good luck once again. You're hearing it from the one and only. Floyd, make that money. Mayweather. I have no clue what that tiny man was talking about because if he had an ounce of boxing knowledge, he'd know Big Dipper got his redemption in Miami. This next fight is all about sweet, sweet revenge. Austin McBroom, I'm coming for you, son. I began training camp in South Africa, but I couldn't contain my hatred for McBroom. So it was you, Austin McBroom, who finessed me of my moment in the ring. And for that lad, you gotta pay. And you gotta pay with these. They're gonna be dancing on your forehead, you little nonce. Months have passed and contracts were ready. So why won't McBroom sign the papers? Where is the announcement they asked? Well, my friend, you should be asking that question to Austin McBroom because he's taken his sweet, sweet time to sign the papers. Venues, dates, location, were all set in place. But the moment he heard that it was in the UK, panic began to set in. I'll fight him anywhere, but he showed me his card in security. My last fight was about redemption in Miami, which I claimed after whooping Taylor Holder round after round. But my moment was stolen from social gloves. 
So my next fight is all about revenge. It's all about beating the shit out of the event organizers, aka Social Gloves, aka Austin McBroom. This is the biggest money fight out there, and Ethan Gibb versus Austin McBroom, a grudge match indeed. So Austin, chop chop, sign the papers. It's quite poetic, isn't it? It's been one year since I last entered the ring. 171 days of negotiations. But I can finally say that you are staring at main event giver. I'll be facing the event organizers on their own events. And when you face a man like that, you defo can't leave it to the judges. July 30th, you'll see Gibb vs. Austin McBrew at the Staples Center. So make sure to buy your pay-per-views. Make sure to buy your tickets, because a Gibbo Masterclass is coming. See you soon, McBroom.